So hey guys, uh, it's uh, it's you know it's me, and this is a uh, vlog number two. Um, kind of of the you know the whole brain injury thing. Um, so this is another big brain injury incident. So today I'm gonna let you know. Uh, today I had another big jolt. Uh, actually, um, during my uh, my office time actually like during work which was not good actually one of the guys was like do you need medical attention like do I need to go take you to the ER and I'm like uh, no I was like remember the whole traumatic brain injury thing he's like yeah I go well, yeah that was that and he goes oh okay he's like are you seeing some people I was like yeah I've seen all these like really good people for this so he's like okay good uh, secondly, uh, you might be wondering why right now I'm wandering around in the dark and why you probably can't see me very well right now. Um, and I can't see me very well either. I know it's dark. I know you can't see me. I know I can't see me when I look at the monitor. Um, I'm looking for my military ID. And for those of you who don't know, I'm active duty in the Navy. And being active duty in the Navy, we have this thing called a military ID. Our military ID is everything. It is everything. It is everything. Um, it's how we identify ourselves or what makes us different from the common folk. But, and if you lose it, um, yeah, so I lost mine, so that means I can't work, I can't log in, I can't do anything. I can't go into my building, I can't do anything. And I'm currently scouring where I just ran, and I ran like 2.8, something like that today, close to it, 2.6. So, you know, good for, good for me, <laughs> an improvement. Mandy, shout out to you. Um, Mandy's my occupational therapist. She's been really pushing me uh, to, to run and to to pee, to be good. And see, I'm running. I'm continuing. I actually did those like those sprints that I did today, but I'm still searching for this. And I, I can't... I don't know. I think somebody's already turned it in, but I've called the people that they would probably turn it into. I don't know. I don't know, guys. But it's crazy. You know, and I realize that a lot of people, you're probably feeling the same way about our country right now. Um... You know, we don't really know what we've had. We've lost our identity. <laughs> Ironically, right? We've lost our identity of who we are. We just elected Donald Trump as our president. Now, being me, being as a member of the United States military, I am sworn to support the president. He's my commander. He's my commander-in-chief. But by doing so, Here's what I can reason to do. I trust God. That's why I trust. God's the king. It's not Trump. It's not Obama. It's not... It wouldn't be Clinton. It wasn't Clinton. It wasn't... It wasn't Bill, man. It wasn't W. Sure wasn't W. You know? Wasn't my president, wasn't George, you know, couldn't do it. Shout out to Dana Carvey if you're watching this. And if you're watching this, big fan. Um, but I trust God. And while we might see our differences, I also see the fact that we're 
gonna see what's gonna make us pull together. So with this, with everything that's going on, with the, if you don't know, you don't know where to look, look up, look within yourself, look, look in the word, open up the word. And by the word, I don't mean like the dictionary. I mean like the truth, open up the truth. Jesus said in the book of John, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only way, guys. But, and he's the only way that we can know the Father. And there's been conversions, there's been people, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff that if you do your own independent study, there's a whole bunch of things. And I'm not here to convert you, I'm not here to do any of that. I'm just telling you that right now, everything that has to do with this country is out of our control. If you have done your thing, if you voted, you with it, you were within your power. It's a box of matches. You did what was in your power. You voted. Did you vote? Were you old enough to vote? If you weren't old enough to vote, cool. That's fine. Did you learn from the experience? If you weren't old enough to vote, then it's out of your experience anyway, right? It's out of your hands. What's the point in worrying about something that's out of your hands and out of your control? Just add stress. Confide in somebody that you know and you trust. That's the best thing. Don't post it on Facebook. Don't go and go crazy. If you want, comment here. Well, actually, don't comment here about how you feel about Trump or Clinton or anything else like that. This is going to start a flame war and actually go crazy. But that's the thing. So, all right, well, I'm going to get off here. If you like the video and you like these vlogs, just keep it up. Click like, hit subscribe. You're going to have more of these, especially as more of my brain functions keep happening. So... I can't find my cack. I can't find it. I don't know where it is. All right. I gotta go search the other part. Bye, guys.